we're back on the move. Just let go of the mooring line here in Edgartown. We are on our way, heading a bit more east to Nantucket. Next stop, probably about maybe five hours away, something like that. So uh, the wind calmed down for us. We should have a nice smooth ride, hopefully. We'll see. I like this little town. Nantucket right behind us pretty smooth trip it is glassy calm right now but most of the way over here was just a little bit messy seas from the wind we had yesterday and this morning just kind of confused little waves that uh, rocked us around just a little bit not bad we saw a ton of, uh, of ferries going back and forth in and out of Nantucket here high-speed cat ferries and a big slow car ferry we even seen some private planes flying overhead looking like they're going into Nantucket. It's Friday today, so a lot of people are probably just showing up for the weekend. Getting a little chilly out. Just about there. Nantucket Harbor right now it's completely empty there's only a few boats on moorings here we were gonna try to anchor but we couldn't find exactly where we we're allowed to anchor and where we thought we were allowed is exposed to the east and we're supposed to get a strong east wind tomorrow and we couldn't contact the harbor master or the mooring company or anyone really so we just picked up a free mooring and we're gonna see what happens probably run into the people running the moorings here on our way in it's a little chilly but beautiful day there's O Search. It's a shark research ship. They do a lot of great white shark shark tagging and stuff off the coast of the Northeast here. And they have an app where you can track the sharks. What's it called? O Search. I think is it isn't it called Shark Tracker. I think it's O Shirt O Search Shark Tracker. But they have Mary Kate, and Mary Kate comes up here, and then goes off the coast of Jupiter, and then goes back around. So right over here in the corner. That's where I had Tula docked up for like a week while I was visiting here on her shakedown trip, like four years ago. I'm just trying to find the dinghy dock here. We stopped in the Nantucket Whaling Museum, which was absolutely awesome because we love maritime history. Nantucket was considered the whaling capital of the world and became a wealthy community because of it. The whale ship Essex, from the famous novel Moby Dick, 
used Nantucket as its home port between whale hunts. Ships would depart from Nantucket and be away for years at a time, traveling all around the world in search of whales for their blubber. Sperm whales were the most desirable type of whale because it contained spermaceti, which can be made into candles and other waxy products after its valuable oil is pressed out of it. Soon after its prime, Nantucket began to slow down as the world's greatest whaling port due to nearby New Bedford taking its place with its deeper and easier to access harbor and mainland location. Nantucket fell into an economic depression and had to reinvent itself more than once into what it is today, an artist colony and affluent summer vacation island. We just got done at the whaling museum, got some barbecue for lunch. And now we're going to find some seals. We got the doggies. We're gonna see if we can go find some seals. We're all the way up at head of the harbor. And probably, how far away was that? Like four, two, Two miles away maybe? Three miles? Yeah, cold three miles. Windy, bumpy, <laughs> even in the harbor here. But we're all the way up here. We're gonna anchor the boat somewhere and try to go to the ocean and see if we can find these seals. It's way, way different up here. It's like all like natural area, woods, some dunes, sandbars, and like no houses up here. And on the way up, you can see all the houses kind of lining the shores and there are some cliffs and stuff. Little cliff. Lots of fish traps that we have to avoid. We anchored as close as we could to where we think the seals are. Now we gotta kinda cut across to the beach and walk like two miles up to get to where we think the seals are. They rent Jeeps and people at four wheel drive can get over here by Jeep or four wheel drive, but uh, not us. All right, well, there's a lighthouse way out there. And we have to go like over to that side of that piece of land. And that's where I think the seals are. But it's already six o'clock and it's getting dark pretty early. Now, this time of year. So I'm not sure if it's gonna happen today. We'll see. Epic fail on the seagull search today. Yeah, it's already getting dark, so we're heading back to the boat. We got a long ways to go on the little boat to get back to the big boat, and the the channel's like really zigzaggy and little tiny day mark buoys. So hopefully it doesn't get too dark on us. All right, we'll try again tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for watching as always. We just want to let you guys know that we are releasing our next batch of limited edition t-shirts. Check it out. This design kind of represents our journey on our way up here with our whole engine problems, boat breaking down, towboat US, and spending a lot of money. Yep, unfortunately. <laughs> we figured it's something that everyone can pretty much relate to. Yeah, especially everyone who has boat and everyone who watches our channel and saw that whole trip and yeah. If you guys like this design, you want to help support our channel, you can check out the link in the description. It's limited edition, so same as last time, you only have 14 days to buy. We will see you guys next time.